Dan Ullman, Mike Beer, two-year-olds prepped for the Breeders' Cup Juvenile and the Grade 1 American Pharaoh Stakes at Santa Anita. It's a race and it's a great card at the Great Race Place on Saturday, so you're going to want to bet it with a new DRF Bets account. Why? Because you get 300% the deposit match. Deposit 50, bet 200 at Bets. DRF.com. Here's the field for the Grade 1 American Pharaoh, formerly known as the Front Runner, formerly known as the Norfolk. We've got the number four game winner, trained by American Pharaoh's conditioner, the great Bob Baffert. He is your six to five morning line favorite, an unbeaten two for two, but he's got to stretch out for the first time, Mike. Yeah, he's got to stretch out around two turns. We'll see um, how he handles it. Based on his pedigree, wouldn't worry too much about it. He's supposed to be able to go at least this far, um, and so we'll just see what happens. I feel like. Um, I feel like he's run fine in his first two starts. Um, I wasn't, you know, blown away by his two performances, but he's run fine. He's obviously a talented horse. I don't think anyone was blown away by his win in the Grade One Del Mar Futurity, but I wonder if it's because sprinting may not be his game. It but looked like a little he was in a little bit of deep water turning into the stretch, and he kind of grinded down row eight and then roadster late. And you mentioned his pedigrees by Candy Ride, his second dam, the multiple Grade One stakes winner Fleet Indian. So he is supposed to go long, but. I remember what Harvey always told us. He'd say, never bet a favorite. That's trying right. something for the first time to win. And game winner is probably going to be your favorite. Trying two turns for the first time. Another horse trying two turns for the first time is the likely speed in this race. And that is the number one row weight. And we do have a formulator fact for trainer Jerry Hollendorfer over the past two years. With two-year-olds stretching out on dirt, 28% winners, and a slightly positive return on investment. Roy Waiton showed big speed in the Del Mar Futurity. Got tired late. Is it because he doesn't want to go that far? Um, I guess that's the real question you have to answer. Um, based on, to me anyway, based on his first two starts, um, this is a horse who I don't really want any part of going long. We'll see, we'll see how he stretches out. He's obviously fast, and he obviously has some ability. He, he showed a lot of speed last time to open up on that field. But in both of his starts, even the win at five furlongs, he is hanging on his wrong lead all through the stretch. He is not finishing in those races. Um, I, I'm really concerned about how far this horse wants to go. Buy into mischief, the dam a half to a graded stakes winning sprinter in Miss Mischief. Distance going to be the key for Rowayton. Timeform U.S. pace projector has Rowayton and Gunmetal Gray in a situation that would favor horses on or near the early lead. I wouldn't think Gunmetal Gray is going to be that close to Rowayton no, early, either. and I wouldn't be surprised if Rowayton's going to be tough to slow down. Yeah, I mean, he's only going to be that close to Rowayton if, if Rowayton can, really can rate, but I, I'm not so sure that he's going to be able to do that. I thought Rowayton would be clear early in this race, and I think that's the only reason that I took a shot against Gunmetal Gray in this race, because I would have picked him on top in this race. I thought he ran well first time out, but he ran deceptively well first time out for a horse who doesn't look anything like a sprinter, and he really improved last time, but the difference, I feel like, in this race could be that this pace might be a lot faster than that pace was. He got a really nice trip last time, and obviously he, he handled the distance fine. He won easy. Um, I feel like this race will be run differently, and it could work against this horse, and he's going to be a short price here, and that's the only reason I didn't pick him. But there's something to be said for the only horse in the yeah, race to have already won around two turns, and that's Gunmetal Gray, owned by West Point Thoroughbreds, the other Hollendorfer trained runner in this race. And if Rowayton doesn't stay, I think Gun Runner's game winner is going yeah. to be more forwardly placed in here. And I wouldn't be surprised if actually Actually, Gunmetal Gray is very patiently handled, and game winners used pushing row weight and early. Yep. Maybe Gunmetal Gray gets the great trip under Flavi and Pratt, a major contender in the American Pharaoh. Sig Alert is the number five. This is a son of Kentucky Derby winner Street Sense. They tried him in the Del Mar Futurity. It really didn't work out for him, so he's got a lot of questions to answer. I kind of liked his sprint win, and when I you look at his female family, a lot of speed down there. Yeah, I agree with that. I liked his debut, too. Um, and listen, he got bumped around at the start of that Del Mar Futurity last time in between horses he wound up last but he'd also just felt like he was no match for those horses I mean he just couldn't keep up with that field let's take a look at our top picks for the grade one American Pharaoh stakes because Mike's got a price source in here that was no match for gunmetal gray last time out but he's trained by Keith DeZormo and we remember the the excellent work that DeZormo did with Texas Red as a two-year-old yeah. getting him ready for these two turn races this horse acts like he wants yeah. to go along I love this pedigree stamina over speed yeah that's why I, I took him I just feel like distance is what he wants and you know based on his first two starts it's sort it looked, that looked clearly to be the case. Like he doesn't want to sprint at all, running on when it was way too late in those races. And I know that he disappointed. They stretched him out last time. He was the favorite over Gunmetal Gray. That was supposed to be the day for him. 
But listen, Gunmetal Gray always had the jump on this horse. Um, he, this horse couldn't get anywhere near Gunmetal Gray, but he was a mile clear of the rest of the field. I still felt like he was racing on through the stretch. I think this is what he wants to do. I think this pace could play out a little bit differently. They go a lot faster early in this race, and that would help Hefe, I think maybe more than Gunmetal Gray. Maybe not. Maybe it won't make any difference at all. But he's a bigger price in this race. I'm going to take his chance. And we always he, urge he folks it. with the pace projector for two-year-old races to really take it with a grain yeah. of salt because it could change They're from so race to race, race yeah. so lightly raced. As for Hefe, this is Keith DeZormo's M.O. You slowly race them right. into shape. You can't really say uh, second-time starters are better, third-time starters are better. They just need racing. This horse has three starts and could be ready for his best brother, Kent has the mount. I like what I've seen from Game Winner. He's got the fast races. Now he's got to do it around two turns. From his pedigree and the way he grinds it out, I yep. think the distance will be fine. It's a chalky pick, but I'm going to go with him over row weight. And 4 one, two, three for me. Mike's going 3-2-4 in the Grade 1 American Pharaoh, one of four graded stakes races on a super Saturday afternoon at Santa Anita. Bet the card at home with your DRF Bets account. Sign up, get a 300% deposit match at bets.drf.com. Approximate post time for the American Pharaoh, 238 Pacific. Best of luck.